The year is 2014. You just got your iPad and you want to get a new game on the App Store. You beg your mom for Minecraft, but she says no because it costs money. Disappointed, you start scrolling through the App Store for an alternative. That is when you stumble upon a survival sandbox game called The Blockheads. This is the story of how I got into The Blockheads, a game which has a spot in my childhood. I still specifically recall the first server I joined. It was called Roxbury. Whether the name is a reference to the 1998 movie or not, I still spent a lot of time on there after school. Unfortunately, over time, the game has died. Many servers now either only have one person active or they are servers from the good old days in 2014 which have now been destroyed. This game used to have hundreds and even thousands of people online every day. Now the average today is about 30 people. It is sad to say this game has died and by the looks of it there is no coming back. But how did the game get into this state? Well, my friends, this is my video on the rise and the fall of the Blockheads. The Blockheads initially released on January 10th, 2013 for iOS and Android by an overly ambitious indie game developer from New Zealand named Dave Frampton. Dave is the owner of Magic Jungle Software, which explains his nickname, Magic Dave. Frampton has about 15 years of experience making games, but as of 2022, he seems to be unactive. Due to this, this is the only info I could find about him. If we search up The Blockheads on YouTube, we will see that most of the content was from around 7 to 8 years ago, when the game peaked. We can see that back then, this game was really popular. A lot of the content you will see will have a lot of views, with one of the most famous videos being uploaded by Jack Frost Miner, titled, Let's Play The Blockheads Episode 1 Home Sweet Home. This game seems good so far, so why did it die? Part of the answer to that question is in the search results. You see, if you type the blockheads into YouTube, the results are the blockheads, the blockheads game, the blockheads music, the blockheads gameplay, the blockheads Gumby, the blockheads live, the Blockheads trailer, and finally, the Blockheads duplication glitch. That's the key! The Blockheads duplication glitch. How is this tied with the game's death? Let me tell you how. The Blockheads have a currency called Time Crystals. You are able to purchase them with real money, and with Time Crystals you are able to unlock perks such as upgrading portals, warping blockheads or items with portals, teleporting to a portal, and the one-time rush completions for crafting and sleeping. By buying these time crystals, you are supporting the game's developer, Dave Frampton. This was basically the only way Frampton actually got money from his game. But due to people using duplication glitches, the developer didn't get any of the money. Even Edipot, sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, who was one of the most famous YouTubers for the Blockheads at that time, made a duplication. The other reason why the Blockheads died is because of the Google Play Store. The Blockheads was taken off of the Google Play Store after Android and Dave Frampton had a disagreement. This caused a huge decrease in players, 
as a lot of people played the blockheads on Android. In conclusion, The Blockheads was a game in which many people found ways around pain for time crystals which heavily affected the game. That is my presentation. Thank you all so much for watching. I've had a wave of nostalgia go over me and I remember this little game that I used to play a lot. Even though I don't usually say this in my videos, please leave a like and subscribe. It would really help me a lot and I am really grateful that we're almost about to hit 200 subscribers. And uh, yeah, I would appreciate if you would like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, see you soon.